we all need to get to the place to be informed in such a way about all these things like a concert pianist. And if we're not, you know, then we have to make sure that even though those people only play the piano at an elementary level or so, that we don't let them be in power of anything. You know, you have to, no matter which way it is, the whole story really comes around to what is our moral truth, what is our moral responsibility, um, how do we find somebody who is not going to be corrupt to lead anything. And uh, so I would just say that we are um, at the best place in evolution that we can be. And it's no surprise to me that we have seven plus billion people in the world. I mean, if you're going to be incarnated into our world to see what's happening in the world, this is the best time. So I don't see the whole thing as a whole negative thing. I see the, the thing, and of course a lot of people already call it that, they call it the Great Awakening. I mean, this is, this is what we need to do. So the way that I say to approach the whole thing is, first of all, you get together with other people and do some panurythmy. Even if you don't know how to do that, okay, you, you, you just get together and you make sure that you're in a circle because a circle is, the, when you're in the kindergarten, you never ever have the children sit out there and you sit here. No, you have to be part of the circle. The teacher actually has to be part of the little circle because you know, the audience here and the teacher here is not what we're supposed to do anymore, okay? So, since we're in the childhood of getting evolution to go in the right way, we'll have to have a circle and that's what we have when we do panurythmy. Not only that, when you do panurythmy, the first thing that happens is you appreciate the music, for starters, okay? You appreciate the rhythm of the music the rhythm that you can come into each other with. And we can come into a certain uh, reverence for the music, for the people around you, for uh, Peter Duanov who started it all. And so, you know, here you have a beginning to make community uh, with, um, with a wonderful art that can be, it's not something that you have to take uh, four years to learn how to do. Now, after that, I always say it would be good to do spatial dynamics, okay? I mean, there's, there's also something where we really have to get into the physical body and really feel our power or our gentleness, you know? So that is also something that could be a preparation and of course all the sports are certain uh, preparation for getting your body in strength, you know. I mean, um, I don't know if I should say, but um, I had a young man in my house and we were talking about politics and he got really, really riled up, you know. And I said, okay, get up, get up, get up, okay. And um, I arm wrestled him, you know, and of course He's a, really, he's a real man, so of course, there's no way that, no matter how strong I am, there's no way that he would have put me down. You know, this is a real man. But he was calm after that. He needed that to, to get that out of him. You know, you have, to, you have to have some tools, okay? So a lot of the men, no wonder that they do all kinds of different sports. They have to. Okay, and it's good for the women too. So after all of that, I would say, then get into eurythmy, because then you can see, and uh, th this is eurythmy that Rudolf Steiner uh, and, and Lori Meyer Smith started um, in 1913. So here, there's a whole different way of learning something. You find out that you have more than one body, you have a physical body, you have a kind of life body, and you have uh, the yes and no, I want it and I don't want it, and get away from me and come close and whatever. You have that kind of a body too, and then you have what I call the I am that says, okay, I'm going to control this a bit, 
you know, I, I can be the master over myself. I'll, I'll, I'll have chocolate later or something, but not now, okay? Or maybe like Gandhi said, um, you know, he, he, um, a woman came to him and she said, I mean, this is so the story goes, I don't know if it's true, but uh, she said, you know, I'm so addicted to chocolate and, um, you know, how can I stop? And he, and, and he said, uh, go away and come back in three weeks. And she came back and she said, why did you have me wait for three weeks for to get the answer? And he said, well, I had to get addicted to the chocolate and then stop it <laughs> first and before I can recommend it to you. So, so you know, you, you have a body that can actually govern you from all the way down to the feet. And um, when we're done here, I'm, we're going to do something with the feet. We can do that on the Zoom, of course, but um, uh, we will do other things. So I would say, um, for me, Eurythmy, of course, goes hard, uh, hand in hand with anthroposophy, learning about all these kind of different things, you know, that's why they come into the world. There's a reason why, why we have um, uh, different modalities coming at certain times. And uh, yeah, I would just say that um, we live in amazing times, but also really, really challenging times. And um, now the other thing that I, of course, would say is we've had all the planets, um, um, I mean, a lot of them, cluster together on one, all on one side of the zodiac, okay? Pluto and uh, Saturn and Jupiter especially coming together. And a lot of times squared by Mars. And um, I would say that is a really, really important part that we have to understand because the constellations and the planets are working in order for us to get to know what's going on down here, connect the, the, the stars with us, finding out why things are happening. You know, when we have full moon just a couple of days ago, I mean, what, what are the effects on us on that? And I can tell you, that the whole political situation, of course, um, really um, was prepared by the um, solar eclipse on December the 14th, and then by the, um, uh, con what do you call it, the conjunction, okay, on, on December the 20th. And, um, you know, if anybody has a program that shows you how that is, and we can look at it afterwards on the computer, is um, you can see in, in November in, in October the, the, the planets were kind of spread all around still. And then November it came closer, November, and then all of a sudden you have all the planets on one side. So talk about a total one-sidedness in the heavens and a total one-sidedness on Earth. And and the heavens saying, okay, you know. Pluto really helps you to, to Pluto and Saturn. I mean, Saturn is the furthest one out in our solar system, and Pluto takes 250 years to go around. So this doesn't happen very often that they come together with Jupiter. Jupiter takes 20 years and uh, to go around, and um, uh, Saturn takes 30 years to go around. So you, you have this whole picture, and then also squared a lot of times by Mars. Not only that, when I was born, I had a stallion like that too, where all the planets were on one side and, and squared by Mars. <laughs> so, you know, this is back in the early uh, 1940s there, okay? So, so you can see that every once in a while, you know, the, the whole contraction of the universe and expansion, you can actually, when you follow it a little bit and, and, and make friends, with these uh, planets. And um, I can also say that um, be aware of the thing that when we learn Eurythmy, we're not learning just about uh, how to dance beautifully or something like that. This is not what it's about. We learn the qualities of each of the planets because they all have to do with the vowels. A, A, E, O, U, O, and I. Yeah, they, they, they bring 
uh, sort of the leaven uh, to what the zodiac is doing, and the zodiac has something to do with the consonants, you know. So, so that's why uh, I'm so grateful that at 55, I started learning how to do eurythmy, and I did that for five years almost. So, you know. There's something when when you do it in the body is a totally different kind of thing than when uh, we do it when we just intellectually know okay the moon is there and Saturn is there and they take so long to go around and they're so far away and close by or whatever if you if you feel the quality of Saturn in 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 the gesture of uh, you know the, the vowels and the consonants and all of that that's the way to go. So I think that's probably